the score manager. The score manager controls how the staves in your score look and sound. You can add, delete, or reorder staves, edit staff names, change playback sounds, change an instrument or voice part to another instrument, all in one window. To access the score manager, click on the window menu, Score Manager, or use the shortcut Control K on Windows, that's Command K on Mac, to open or close the Score Manager window. Click on the File Info tab. This tab allows you to include information about the score, including the title, composer, description, copyright, and more. From this tab, you can edit these items to make changes in your score. Click on the Instrument List tab. The top part of this window shows the list of instruments or voices in your score and the staff settings below. Let's take a look at the top of this window. The Instrument column lists the staves that were chosen when you created the score. The Name column shows the full staff names as listed in the score. The M column is to mute a staff for playback. The S column is to solo a staff for playback. The Device column shows you the Finale Sound Library that is being used for playback in each staff, either the Garretton Sample Sounds, the Smart Music Soft Synth General MIDI Sounds, or other sound libraries you may have purchased. The Sound column lists the name of the instrument playback sound from the selected playback device for that staff. When you create a new score with the Setup Wizard, the playback sounds are automatically assigned for the staves you choose. However, you can always change the playback device and or sounds at any time by clicking on the pop-up menus. When you created the Hymn to Joy SATB Choral Score in the Setup Wizard, the vocal staves use Choir Oz as the default playback sounds. If you prefer to change the playback sounds to a piano sound or another instrument sound, in the Soprano staff under the Device column, first choose the playback device, which would be either Garretton or Smart Music Soft Synth. Then in the Sound column, click on the pop-up arrow and choose the playback sound you desire for this staff. For example, Piano and then Grand Piano Sound. Choose the playback sounds for each staff in the same manner. In the Name column, click the arrow to the left of any staff name to edit individual layers or chords. The Customize View button shows additional categories you can display in this window. Moving to the lower part of the window, if you wish to add a new instrument staff to the score, click the Add Instrument button. Next to Score Order, select from the Preset Categories, or you can click on a Staff icon and drag the staff to adjust. To delete a staff from the score, scroll to the right edge of the window and click on the X. If you wish to edit a staff, click on the Staff icon in the Instrument column to highlight the instrument name. Click on the Full Name or Abbreviated Name buttons to change how they appear in the score. Next to Auto Number Style, choose the desired numbering style. One of the most useful features of the Score Manager is being able to easily change an instrument or voice part to another instrument. I'll use the Hymn to Joy soprano part as an example. 
Let's say I want to have a B-flat clarinet play the soprano part. On the left edge of the instrument column, click on the staff icon to highlight the soprano staff. To change the instrument or voice, click on the pop-up arrow for that staff. Choose orchestral, woodwinds, and double click on clarinet in B-flat. The change occurs immediately in your score. Finale automatically changes the staff name, chooses the correct clef, transposition, and playback sound for the new instrument. In addition to the items that I have mentioned, you can also edit many other staff settings in the Score Manager. As you work on your own projects, you will find the Score Manager to be a useful tool for editing staff settings and instrument sounds, all in one window.